Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sethian. If this is your first time here, I'm an audio only channel that reviews true wireless stereo earbuds, in-ear monitors, and headphones. Today, I'm going to do a little versus video. I haven't done a versus video in a minute. So, this is a new company to the channel, Halu. They're a subsidiary of Xiaomi. Think of the Redmi Air Air, what are they, AirBuds or AirPods? So on the left, we got the Halu GT7. And on the right, we got the Halu W1. I already unboxed these on my channel. If you want, you can check out that video and then come back and check this one out. So I'm going to be going over the similarities and the differences. I'm going to do a mic test. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think, on which one you should be interested in getting now first off the similarities these earbuds they both have a stem design as you can see on the box and the w1s they come in white and navy blue and the gt7s they come in the black and i think a white version if i'm not mistaken and they also have a similar shaped charging case they both have like a matte finish made out of ABS plastic. Pretty similar shape, although I think the W1 charging case is a little bit taller than the GT7. Another similarity these have is they both support USB type C charging. Whereas on the GT7 case, it has a light right next to the port and the W1 does not. Another similarity, they both have the exact same touch controls. I guess because they're made by the same company. They got pause play, skip track, next track, activate voice assistant. No volume control, unfortunately. And these can be used individually. So you can take one out of the case and use one to the left or the right, or you can use both to save battery. Another similarity these earbuds have is they both have a IPX4 water resistance rating. These earbuds both have Bluetooth 5.2, but the, the Halu W1s, they go all the way, as far as like Bluetooth audio codecs, the W1s go all the way up to Aptex Adaptive. Another similarity is these both have 20 hours with the charging case. And I'll go over more about the battery and the differences, but both of these charging cases will give you 20 hours. I don't know anything about Quick Charge. I don't think they support Quick Charge. I did some research. I couldn't find anything about Quick Charge on either earbud, whether it was the GT7 or the W1. Now, let's move over to the differences. The GT7's, the battery life on a single charge is five hours. The battery life on the W1 is six. So you're getting five hours on a single charge, 20 hours with the case, that's 26 hours total. With the W1, you're getting six hours on a single charge, 20 hours with the case, so 26 hours total. The GT7s have an added feature where they support 65 millisecond low latency mode. I tried it, didn't really notice any difference between uh, watching Witcher on Netflix or YouTube videos. I haven't really got into mobile gaming just yet. I did download uh, Call of Duty Mobile, but I haven't even set it up yet. Um, I guess you don't really need the low latency mode. I mean, it, it. there's no lag. I mean, it's, they both support Bluetooth 5.2. I mean, that's low power consumption, better range, better connection between your devices. Bluetooth 5.2, that's the, that's the latest that's out there. <clears throat> Another difference, the W1s have dual hybrid drivers. So at the box, you can see it says Knowles. I see, let me see on the side here. It says dynamic and balanced armature. So the W1s have a nose balance armature 
driver inside and a dynamic driver. Couldn't find out what the size was or whether it was like six, seven, eight, eleven millimeters. There's really I really not much. I even went to like their official website. I couldn't find out anything about the drivers. But yeah, it says so on the box as well. They have uh what does it say? Nope. It doesn't say it. It just says it has a nose balance armature driver and a dynamic driver. And the last difference between these earbuds is the price. The Howlu W1, as I'm recording this video, you can get these on Amazon for $29.99 and you can save an extra 40% off with the coupon for all the people out there with the good with math. You can go figure that out. Now, the Howlu G27 on the other hand, as I'm recording this video, you can get these on Amazon for $21.99. You can save an extra 10% with coupon at checkout so the Howlu GT7s and the Howlu W1 they're pretty similar in price not too not too pricey they're, they're, they're just pretty simple you know earbuds I mean now what they also don't have they don't support wireless charging they don't have active noise cancellation they don't have any type of app support so that's three similarities I left out. Now, I'm gonna move over and talk about the mics. I'm gonna do um, for the GT7 and the W1, let you know what they sound like in a quiet environment. This is a mic test of the Halu GT7 in a quiet environment. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is a mic test of the Howlu W1 True Wireless Earbuds in a Quiet Environment. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So we're still on the differences, and the last one would be the sound quality. Now, the GT7, I've tested these on my Android phones, and I tested them on my iPhone 12 Pro. Music source was Apple Music. I got lossless turned on. And in both iOS and Androids, I noticed that the sound quality is very dark. I'm getting plenty of bass. I'm getting good mids and I'm getting detail, but the bass is a lot of bass, maybe a little too much. I used to EQ my earbuds with the Wavelet app, but I decided to just start using the earbuds to straight out of boxes they were intended. And while I do like bass. It just seems like it's kind of muddying up the mids just a little bit. Now, with the W1s, on the other hand, you got the nose balance armature driver and you got the dynamic driver. The bass is there. You have the mids, you have the treble, you got plenty of detail. You're getting bass, but it's not, doesn't sound like it's pushing into the mids. As a matter of fact, the sound quality on the W1s is kind of a, a more brighter sound, while as the GT7s are a little more darker. So, with all of that being said, in conclusion, should you buy these earbuds, it just depends on what you use them for. The GT7s, in my opinion, I like the fit on them more, even though they're stem style and they're... That, I just like the... I like the design. I like that the stem is a little more rounded and it's easier to take out of the case. I like the ergonomic shape around here. It fits comfortably in my ears. And uh, yeah, I like these better. I don't, I do like the, the sound quality on the W1s, but I like the fit on the GT7s. So it just depends on, you know, what you want to use them for. And the GT7s, they're $11.99 after savings. The W1s are $17.99 after savings. So with that being said, this concludes the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, share. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your sound. I'll see you next time.